This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, today we are going to be working on the cave sickles and the Merc, Merc uh, Hounds or something like that. Uh, yes, Merc Hounds. Um, we're going to get those done. It's nine figures. They're really easy. They're going to be breeze. Um, we're going to, I know you guys noticed that, that we've been doing this and we haven't um, done any of the bases yet. We're going to save and we're going to do it um, uh, at the very end. We're going to do a video just showing you how the bases turn out. Um, so without further ado, let's go down the table and let's get painting and get these done. We have a lot to finish up here. These next bu bunch of guys are really simple. All I'm going to take is some Joker and Jokaro orange, excuse me. And forgive me, I have a bit of a cold. And we're just going to dry brush over the red. I'm going to take all the paint off like we normally do. And we don't want a bunch on there. And we're just going to grab one of these guys. As you can see, they're, the red is really dark, but I don't want it to sit there. I just want to take and bring them to their natural color. And just kind of have that. I'm not worried about their tongue and all that stuff right now. All we're worried about is just getting some coverage here and adding a little depth here by working out a bit which we are going to continue to do with these guys and just go over and go over until it sits exactly the way we want it to sit on there and don't be afraid to really rub your brush in there because the red is very strong to get out and that's exactly what we're doing here and you're just gonna work it right in there so I'm gonna finish up these and I'll show you what they look like when they are done okay we got some decent coverage on there as you can see it's starting to come back uh, all we're trying to do is get it to this point and that's exactly what we're doing we're trying to get to the artwork uh, which is beautiful of course so we're going to keep working on that. We're going to let that dry for a little bit, and then we're going to come back to it. Now with these Merc Hounds, all I'm doing is just taking a little filleted flesh, and I'm very, very lightly, because you can make this murky very quickly. And I'm just kind of going over the top, because the real highlights are coming up where we're going to work on the mouth. And we just want just a little bit of highlight not too much we don't want to drown out this this figure and make it murky because if you dry brush and it isn't you don't have the right amount of paint you can easily make the figure murky where it looks very cloudy and that's not what we're trying to do we're just trying to get that to sit up on there perfectly like it's doing right now just hitting the top, the very top, and leaving the recesses. Because if you, if you get the brown with those recesses, you're going to have a little bit of problem here. So all we're doing is just very lightly going over these areas. And as you can see, that's the kind of effect that we want. Just nice, easy, a little three-dimensional, and building in some shadows. And that's all we're trying to do and not trying to drop things all the time now with these cave sickles all I want to do is take some new oil and I want to get all those recesses so we kind of worked the red in but we kind of also worked it out in a way usually we brighten up but these are just evil little buggers 
and what we want to do is I want to make them kind of dark believe it or not but have that rocky feel there we go what's going to brighten it up is when we start working on the mouth so there you go I'm going to I'm going to finish the rest of these <clears throat> and we'll get the new oil and it take about 30 to 40 minutes you want to let these to dry as you can see we have our our mark hounds that are looking pretty good we, we've already dry brushed those so we're gonna start working on them after we finish doing that it's always constant motion constant motion for me their eyes instead of doing them um, um, I was thinking of doing an Everland sunset I went with pink whore I, I mean a uh, green moot excuse me for their tongues I decided to take some pink whore because it just breaks up this very strong color of these guys and you can see right there that's exactly what we want to do and then for their teeth I'm going to use a yashabi bone so I'm going to finish the rest of these guys with their eyes and their um, um, and their tongues and we'll be back to show you what's going on here now to finish up uh, these uh, mark hounds there's just a little space here where they have like this red gill here so I'm just gonna put that red gill there and then I over here it's very detailed where you can see it it's right underneath its armpit and we're just gonna work that red gill in and that's gonna do it we put some new shabby bone in the eyes we've got the the pink horror for the tongue and that should help these guys stand out a little bit you could just touch this up a little bit make sure it's in there good and boom there we go we've got the mark hounds uh, we've also put the teeth in of uh, the cave sickles and really doing the bases will really help these uh, stand out it's because the bases match right now that they kind of look kind of dragged down a little bit but um, we're gonna we're gonna get these all pumped up and you'll see that um, this was pretty easy and pretty fun on top of it. All right, there we go. Let's send it up top. All right, there we go. We got these. We got these nine done. So boy, that puts us in. Believe it or not, um, I think I'm at 28. I think I only got like 18 more guys left or something like that. Um, but these are real simple we're gonna start doing some of the bigger guys and the figures so I'm gonna be showing you uh, the characters next so that's a big thing that we want to get up on tape so uh, very easy to do these just you know these are cannon father more or less and and that's the way it goes you just kill them and get them out but uh, that that about take care of this let's go up top and get my final thoughts all right well, we did it again we got those done okay um, and those are really important especially the cave sickles because they are going to be the first enemy I believe in the crawl section uh, if I'm not correct so the next thing that we have to do is we got to get these characters done so we can at least get our playthrough done on Sunday I like to do a playthrough now a real cool thing that's going to be happening um, I've been talking with a, a couple of friends of mine and uh, I introduced myself to one person and we hit it off real well and I think we're gonna have a special guest who is going to help us do the adventure mode I'm trying to get a couple people but I can guarantee one thing um, that we have this one uh, special um, contributor that is going to be helping us and we're gonna work together on this and I think that's gonna be a lot of fun in the adventure mode all right I'll announce that on Sunday but uh, for now, let's, uh, let's take a break, and uh, we'll see you in the next video when we're doing all the characters. That's the one that everybody really wants to see. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon.